outperform. We hit the track with Canadian Drift Champion Tommy Lemaire. Woo! Oh yeah, that was good. We go one on one with Ricky Forbes, Tornado Hunter. There's the tornado! Whoa! Whoa! Look at the size of this thing now! Plus, find out if you're one of General Tire's big contest winners. All that and a whole lot more coming up on General Tire's Outperform. Hello everyone from across Canada. I'm your host, Lindsay Hamilton, and this is Outperform. A little bit about me. I'm a national anchor on SportsCenter, and I've been on hand for some of the biggest Canadian sports stories over the last decade. And I'm thrilled to be joining you today for Outperform, an automotive digital broadcast experience packed with fun, energy, insights, and a few surprises. On this episode, you're going to see everything from Drive Like a Pro Tips, from Canada's Drift Champion at iCar Mirabelle, to some great customer insights. We're also going to reveal the three winners of our Ultimax 365 AW contest. So keep your eyes open, because you could be a lucky winner. We've got tons of excitement coming up. But first, today's broadcast is dedicated to General Tire's new all-weather family. We're going to get a bit of a preview and kick things off with some insights from General Tire's national sales manager, Tina Alessi. Tina, welcome to Outperform. Let's start at the top. Why are you excited for the year ahead? Well, we've got to look back to 2020. 2020 was a difficult year for everyone, whether it be in personal lives or business life. Looking at the automotive industry, you see new car sales were down 19%. Tire market was down 15%. Well, our neighbors in the US were only down 7%. It's clear that Canadians have taken the pandemic extremely seriously. They are staying off the road, they're staying home, and they're keeping their friends and family safe. So really the excitement comes in the hope for 2021, the hope that things can get back to something that resembles normal, the hope that the, the pent up demand from 2020 can result in added sales opportunity for 2021. And I, I have to mention as well, the excitement over something special we've been working on. Uh, we've been listening to our customers. Uh, they've been telling us what they want and need out of a tire. And this year we're, we're gonna deliver. What motivated General Tire to introduce the all-weather lineup? Well, track data shows that 26% of Canadians do not own a set of winter tires and still believe that an all-season product can get them through a Canadian winter. We saw this as an opportunity to offer these drivers a safer alternative. On that note, what can you tell us about the new products? Well, uh, consumers have been asking us for more all-weather solutions. So here today, we're launching the newest member of the General Tire all-weather family the Ultimax 365 AW. We always put safety as our number one priority, but with this product, we've got an added focus on convenience, versatility, and dependability. I can't help but also mention the opportunities this lies for PLT fleet business. Fleets are always looking for the convenience of one set of tires, but with this product, they can have that along with added winter driving safety. And Tina, is an all-weather tire for everyone? That's a good question, Lindsay, because the Ultimax 365 AW does sound like the perfect tire, but it's always important to understand a driver's lifestyle before you make any tire recommendations. Questions such as, do they live in temperate regions? How often do they drive? Do they own a set of winter tires? All key questions when determining if the Ultimax 365 AW is the right choice for them. And Tina, what's in it for the dealers? Well, we're always here to support our dealers. We're continuously offering training opportunities, leading edge technologies, and competitive incentives. What about the customers? Well, we back our product with the Ultimax 365 AW specifically. It comes with a customer satisfaction guarantee, mileage warranty, and this spring, an increased $60 consumer rebate. This was extremely informative. Tina, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Lindsay. When you registered to watch this edition of Outperform, you were automatically entered into a contest to win one of three sets of General Tire's new all-weather product. We're going to give away the first set of tires in just a few minutes. But first, we decided to take a little road trip with a customer, one of millions of Canadian drivers. We're hitting the road with them, grabbing a coffee at their favorite spot, finding out a little bit about what driving means to them and what they're looking for from you. It's something we're calling Everyday Adventures. Take a look. My name is Reina, and this is my everyday adventure. 
Okay, boys, let's go. Well, we just got done a whole day of teaching and we decided that we need to get out and get some energy out. So we're gonna go down to the pond, to the local ring, and play some hockey, and then we'll probably grab some hot chocolate afterwards. Right now, the oldest three, they all play hockey, and our youngest is in JK, and he's about to play hockey too in September. You got your sticks and your gloves? All right, let's go. It's actually a really nice day today. We're so lucky, aren't we? Do you see any friends out there that we're gonna skate with today? Look at you're already snowy, aren't you? Yeah, you love skating, don't you? So he'll be our number four in hockey. It'll be a blast. So we drive a lot. We're always commuting to our jobs and then we're running our boys around to all their different sports and anything that they have going on. As a busy Canadian family driving in all weather conditions, I need something that's reliable and very convenient because I don't have time to bother with changing my tires but I need to know that I'm going to be safe and I'm going to have traction no matter what the conditions. There's an all-weather tire out there that I can rely on and use all the time and know that it's going to be safe and great traction. I could really use a tire like that. We'll be back with another edition of Everyday Adventures a little later on. And you know, I heard some really interesting things from Reina. The importance of safety and traction, convenience, and great performance. If that's what your customers are looking for, I've got great news. General Tire has been listening. Because of its dependability and versatility, General Tire continues to be the brand consumers are asking for. And now, there's an all-new addition to the product lineup. Let's get up close and personal with the new Ultimax 365 AW. Check it out. Something new from General Tire, so let's unbox it. To help me, we've got General Tire's product manager, Charles Sartor. Charles, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much. You ready? Am I ready? Let's do this. All right. Ooh. Great looking product. All right, so Charles, this is beautiful. Tell me what we're looking at here. Sure, so we're looking at the Ultimax 365 AW. Brand new product from General Tire, which provides all weather traction and convenience 365 days a year. Amazing. Now, I heard you mention all weather. That's a big question I know I have. What's the difference between all weather and all season? That's a great question, comes up all the time. So the main difference with an all weather product comes with the winter performance and snow performance. And because it performs much better than an all season product, it gets a three peak mountain snowflake certification. So that's one key difference between the two. Okay, now talk about this tire as a whole. How does the Ultimax 365 AW deliver? Sure, so I'll walk you through some of the features and benefits of this product. So here, let me pull up the tire. So you can see here that there's these high density sipes all across the sides of the product, which create some lateral snow edges to improve snow performance in okay. the winter. Yeah. You'll also notice that these sipes are actually just placed on the side of the product, not on the center rib, because we did not want to compromise the stiffness of the pattern. This helps us with dry handling. Okay, so better snow breaking, better handling. Can you talk about these teeth here? Sure, no, that's another great question. So these teeth have been engineered and it's brand new technology we implemented in this product. The idea is for them to bite into snow and slosh and once again, give you better performance in winter conditions. Amazing, that's always helpful. Other features that I should know about when it comes to this tire? Sure, I mean, there's, you know, endless features and benefits. The uh, two things I'll just bring up is the compound, which mm -hmm. includes um, a silica tread compound, which helps with wet breaking and wet performance. Also, another visual feature, it's called the VAI technologies, which are visual alignment indicators. These are meant to help consumers get some visual understanding about the integrity of their vehicle's alignment. So if one wears down faster than the other, you can tell that you know your vehicle needs to get some alignment done. Very on. handy. Can you talk to me a little bit about the treadwear warranty with the Ultimax 365 AW? Uh, another focus and key focus on this product when we were developing it is we wanted to make sure it had strong wear performance. Mm. And this product delivers a 105,000 kilometer warranty for H-rated sizes and 95,000 kilometer tread wear warranty for V-rated sizes, depending on your vehicle and the needs of your vehicle. Perfect. Yeah. Anything else this product delivers that we should all know about? The main thing about this product is that, you know, you can feel safe driving it all year long in Canada 
without having to change your tires each season. And Perfect. I think this is the versatility and convenience that Canadian customers were really looking for when we introduced this product. Amazing. Charles, you are teaching me so much about this tire. Is there a favorite part of the product that I should know about? Uh, overall, it's going to be one of the best performing products on the market for Great. this segment. So a quick recap of the features. The product has the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake certification, has the sinusoidal siping system, those high density sipes that create lateral snow edges to improve snow braking and handling, center rib with less sipes to increase lateral pattern stiffness for better dry handling and even wear, those traction teeth that were introduced specifically for this product that bite into snow and slush to create additional traction, visual alignment indicators, the pattern has wide and waved longitudinal grooves that promote efficient hydroplaning performance, and lateral grooves that connect to those longitudinal grooves to efficiently drain water for improved wet performance. And now with the Ultimax 365AW, we complete General Tire's all-weather portfolio covering passenger cars and CUVs, while the Grabber APT and the Grabber ATX cover SUVs and light trucks. Thank you so much for all that helpful information, Charles. I learned so much. And we got to unbox the new Ultimax 365AW. There's also one more extra with General Tire's newest product. So take a look at this. Give your customers the all-weather convenience and versatility they want with the Ultimax 365AW. This all-weather tire for passenger cars, crossovers, and compact SUVs is made for Canada with Three Peak Mountain Snowflake certification. Best of all, when your customers order a set of Ultimax 365AWs from April 1st to May 31st, 2021, they qualify for a $60 general tire rebate. The Ultimax 365AW, all-weather traction and convenience, 365 days a year. Lindsay Hamilton, and we've covered a lot of ground so far during this episode, including the launch of the all-new Ultimax 365AW, the all-weather tire made for Canada. General Tire is so excited about this launch, they're awarding three winners with a set of Ultimax 365AWs. And we're about to make our first giveaway. Here is the first winner of a set of Ultimax 365AWs. Congratulations. We'll be reaching out after the broadcast to set everything up. As for everyone else, stay tuned because we still have two more sets to give away. Coming up, we've got a surprise out at iCar Mirabelle where we're going to get some winter driving tips from, well, you'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, let's meet our new friend Zach in another edition of Everyday Adventures. My name's Zach. I drum in a country band, uh, full-time professional drummer, and uh, you know that takes me and my work all over the country. But today we're actually going to take some drums into my guy at the drum store to get a tune-up. But first, I got to grab a coffee in the morning. Uh, can't really survive without that. After that, we're going to go grab some shawarma. I got a place here in town. I love to go for lunch, and uh, we'll just see where it goes. It should be fun. Right to the drummer. Oh, just got to move the hockey gear. Every good Canadian kid has hockey gear. Gotta get some morning juice though. What can I get, sir? Can I get a grande iced americano, please? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, let's go. My work takes me all over the place. So what I love about driving is just uh, getting to see the road, getting to see lots of cool places. Obviously we put a lot of kilometers on the car. Being in Canada, driving all the way up north, driving all the way out east or out west, you gotta have the right equipment. Some days are nice, 20 degree summer weather, other days you got the snow, but uh, the show must go on. 
when we go to buy tires, when we're looking for anything for the car, we're looking for like ease of use, convenience. If you told me there was a tire with technology that could handle any situation uh, and it's going to save us time as we're on the road, but keep us safe uh, all year round from summer to winter, that would be excellent. My name's Zach and this is my everyday adventure. My name is Tommy Lamar Wallet and I'm Canada's current drift champion. So last summer I won the Canada Drift Championship, which gives me my license to compete in the USA. We're preparing the car to go against the best in the world. Today we're at iCar Mirabel. Uh, this is basically my second home. Uh, I'm an instructor here since six years and uh, I teach people how to uh, drift and how to drive uh, safely on the winter condition road. So today we're here to uh, test out the new Altimax 365 AW. We're gonna see how we can handle the car in the winter condition. I'm gonna share three different driving tips uh, with you to make sure you can be a better driver in the winter. Okay, let's go, let's do this. First pro tip will be to put your two hands on the steering wheel. I know it might sound funny, but two hands on the steering wheel is really the way to have more control in the car. Even when you're in a racetrack or in the normal road condition, two hands on the steering wheel will prevent you to, uh, to have an accident. Trust me on that one. Woo! Oh yeah, that was good. Okay, so another pro tip that I have here. You see my car right now is under steering. That means I lose the front grip. If I lose the front grip, my car goes straight into the ditch or into the wall. So this is really not what we want to do. So pro tip, release the gas first. Second, you have to come back with the angle a little bit more straight. Because if you go, if you ask too much grip to your car, the tire is gonna, is gonna lose all the traction. So if you want more traction, you have to come back straight a little bit and the car will follow after and you will be safe home. So the last tip I have to give you today guys is about drifting. So when you, you enter a corner but you're a little bit too fast and you, you do a good weight transfer, you're gonna see you lose the rear grip. I don't suggest you to do this uh, on your way home after work, but if you're at Icar Mirabel or any racetrack and want to try drifting, well, if you do a good weight transfer, you're gonna lose the rear grip, and by losing the rear grip, you're gonna have to counter steer. Counter steering means uh, basically you turn right, but the car is going left. So this is what I do every day, like right now. Yeah! Okay guys, so now we're about to go test the new Altimax 365 AW on the braking zone and we're gonna compare it with a competitor. I just did the emergency braking test and the first thing I noticed is just how easy it was to get up to speed. I hit 40 kilometers before I hit the brakes and with the Altimax 365 AW it was way easier to get up to speed. I had to coast for like two seconds before I hit the brakes because I was already at the speed and when I hit the brakes for the braking I really felt the difference. I think the, the tire outperformed the competitor here because of the side in the tire. I really felt a good difference. I don't know about you what you saw guys, but for me it was very comfortable and very safe. I'm gonna test the Altimax 365 AW on the slalom zone uh, to see how it handles against the competitor. So 
so I just did the slalom with the Altimax 365 AW. It was very good. The tire is very sensitive. I felt every corner and the, the response is very good. So I really think that the tire outperformed the competitor here. Okay, so right now guys, we're gonna test the new Altimax 365 AW on three different road condition. We're gonna start with the wet asphalt, sludge and snow. Let's do this. Okay, so right now we're on the wet surface. Oh yeah, the acceleration is good. And now we're gonna brake. Oh yeah, that very is good. ABS almost did not go on. Okay, so small acceleration. Yeah, feels good. Grip is nice. Yes. Yeah, very reactive. Yes, I like it. So this this is no situation. I think this is most likely to encounter. Um, I think it feels very good. Sipes are good too. I like how the steering wheels react to my demand. So let's see how the grooves and the sipes react uh, for the acceleration and braking in the slush. So yeah, oh yeah, acceleration is good. Yeah, emergency braking is very good too. I think the sipes grips are uh, very good on the track. Even if it's extreme condition, the tire reacts very well at what I want. So uh, I will say I'm impressed with that. My day was very fun, cold, but uh, very, uh, very fun with the cars. We did some testing with the tires against the competitor. So we test the new Altimax 365 uh, AW. My honest opinion about this tire is that I'm very surprised at the end of the, at the, end of the day. Uh, it's, it's an uh, all-weather tire and even that, it was very, very good on all kinds of surface. And uh, honestly, I would be very confident to put this on my own car to come back home. We did a lot of things today guys, we drifted, uh, we uh, drive in the snow, we uh, tested the tire and I give you a lot of driving tips, so I hope all these tips will help you drive like a pro. Made for Canada. General Tire's all-new Ultimax 365 AW brings your customers year-round safety and convenience. It's an all-weather tire ready for winter, summer, wet and dry. It takes on deep snow and slush with General Tire's all-new Traction Teeth technology. It offers improved snow braking and handling with a sinusoidal siping system, giving the Ultimax 365 AW the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake certification. Place your orders today. The Ultimax 365 AW all-weather traction and convenience, 365 days a year. Hey everyone, welcome back to Outperform, and man can Tommy drift. I'm gonna leave that to the pro. We're going tornado chasing in just a minute, but before we get there, it's time for the second winner of our contest. Reminder, this is a chance to win a set of four Ultimax 365 AW tires. Here is our second winner. Congratulations. Remember, we still have one more set of tires to give away later in the show, so stay tuned. Well, so far today, we've been a passenger on the everyday roads of life and tried out some serious winter driving at iCar Mirabelle. Now, let's get out on the road of life to chase some tornadoes with the one and only Ricky Forbes. <laughs> New tornado warning just issued. Oh my god, look at that! Oh. Yeah, we, we have to get closer, Ricky. Switch here! Up. Keep going! Debris! Debris! Oh my god, oh my god! Go, 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 bless me! Go. That harrowing moment was a scene from Ricky Forbes' TV show, Tornado Hunters. If you don't know Ricky, he stands for adventure. He's a Saskatchewan-born, real-life action figure who brings a big focus to his community. Ricky, welcome to Outperform. Hey, thanks a lot for having me, Lindsay. So, Ricky, you clearly are drawn to adventure. Tell me, what do you love in particular about chasing tornadoes? You know, storm chasing, chasing tornadoes, there's, a, there's nothing on the planet that matches it. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It continues to be that way. When you pull up to these storms, they're larger than life. These are living beasts. They're 40, 50, 60,000 feet tall. And they often look like these amazing kind of UFO ships 
from the outside. And then once you get underneath these storms, it's unlike anything else. You look up and there's blacks and blues and they're all swirling around like an angry ocean. And that tornado comes down and it's uh, life goes away and you're fully in that moment and there's nothing more incredible. Man, Ricky, you're giving me chills. Now, I'm sure you've seen it all. Is there a moment that you saw the weirdest or scariest thing throughout your storm chasing experiences? Have you seen Have you seen Twister, Lindsay? I have. Great movie. Everything you've seen in Twister, I've seen in real life on multiple occasions. Come uh, on. Multiple tornadoes on the ground, stuff flying through the air. There was uh, one tornado that we were caught in and there was uh, buildings floating around in the sky above us. Luckily, nobody was injured. There was vehicles. It was uh, everything you can imagine. I've seen it and uh, it's it's always very peculiar, of course, but uh, <laughs> that comes with the territory. Now, Ricky, let's rewind the clock here. Take me back to little Ricky days when you were just a kid. Did you always know that you wanted to be a storm chaser? How does one get into this type of career? You know what? I never knew people uh, chase tornadoes and uh, I'd come out of university and I uh, spent all my free time uh, chasing adventures and exploring the outdoors and you keep meeting people on that life path. Eventually I met some guys that said they chased tornadoes and I was like, no way, nobody, nobody chased tornadoes. But I convinced them to take me down for a storm chase and we went down, this uh, was in 2012, we're down in Nebraska and I saw my first tornado and that was it. I was hooked, it was the most incredible thing I ever saw. I had found my purpose and uh, I've been doing it ever since. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of answers to this question, but in particular, is there one thing that most people don't know about tornadoes that really stands out to you? What a lot of people don't know about tornadoes is how much work it takes. Uh, you know what? On social media, you get to see all the great storms. On TV show, it looks like we're catching tornadoes all the time. You can be the best forecast in the world, and you'll still show up, and it might be blue skies. You know, um, I would say we have about a 50% success rate. It's so we'll be on the road some years for six, seven, eight months straight. I've had times where I have driven from Saskatchewan all the way down to Texas, driving two days straight, also a tornado couldn't show up. So, you know, and that's the story we don't tell because nobody cares, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of grinding, but it's worth it. You have to chase those storms. Now, tell me about the setup you have going on behind you. Can you show us some of the cool gear you use when you're heading out to a storm. I mean, your truck looks awesome. Walk us through the scene. For sure. Uh, do you mind if I take the camera off and walk you around? Yeah, please do. Yeah. Let's see. Awesome. So, uh, behind me, we got the truck that we chase storms with. This is a truck from the show. And, uh, yeah, so we call it Flash. Some of our fans named that for us. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you a bit of a tour. So I'll start with the outside. Uh, you know, first off, we got this bulletproof coating, so it's a rough coating. It covers the whole truck, and it is bulletproof. We have tested it. And the reason why we have that is, you can imagine, there's a lot of debris flying out of these tornadoes. And so we have to be careful with that. Uh, beyond that, we have this roll cage here. And so this is connected from the bumpers all the way to the back. It's the full 360 wrap around this. And this is where I would roll the truck on its side or end over end that will be protected inside the truck. Of course, it will hurt, but at least we have some protection for that and you know what it really comes down to these tires right here we have these off-road general grabbers and this is what keeps us moving and if we didn't have those uh, well then none of this would happen can you take me inside the truck show me what's going on there yeah absolutely so we saw the action that happens outside the truck to keep us safe but you know what we got lots of action happening inside here this right here is where the magic happens so this is where our uh, our photographer and our weather guy sits here so uh, uh, and sorry to be clear, I'm the driver for the team, so my spot's over there. But one of our team members sits here, and he's constantly looking at our weather radars so we can know where these tornadoes are, where they're going, how big they're supposed to be, and everything else that's involved with them. Uh, beyond that, we always have tons of cameras rigged up inside this truck, and we'll always have two shooters in the back as well, and uh, sorry, videographers. And uh, yeah, that's what makes up our truck. Awesome. That is a very sweet ride. But, Ricky, I've got to ask, as you're walking me through the setup, through your gear, yeah. have you ever had a situation or a moment when you thought to yourself, I'm too close, I'm in real danger here? What do you do in situations like that? Oh, uh, you know what, Lindsay? It's uh, one trailer we got caught in. It was the El Reno tornado. It was in 2013. And it was actually the world's largest tornado 
to ever happen. It grew to be over four kilometers wide at the base. A, a tornado, as far as you can see on the ground. And sort of to give you perspective, most tornadoes we go after, they're about a half kilometer wide or maybe a kilometer wide. But you can clearly see the left side and the right side. In this instance, it was a tornado everywhere. And uh, so the day it started off fine and the tornado came down and we were we were chasing it. And then all of a sudden it seemed like the sky was just dropping down to the ground and we couldn't get away from the tornado fast enough. And as a driver, I was taking our team uh, down this gravel road, trying to get us to safety. And I ended up putting us into the ditch. And it was absolute chaos. And we were terrified, you know, it was uh, our closest call we've ever had. And I, I did see my life flash before my eyes. Uh, but in those moments, uh, for me, I really find that uh, fear starts to wash away and you just really focus. But luckily, the tornado ended up uh, giving up and it went the other direction. We made it out okay. Uh, but that was one of my most terrifying moments, storm chasing. You clearly have nerves of steel. But hey, Ricky, I want to talk about how you're clearly a fan of General Tire. You even have your personal truck outfitted on their tires. What is it that you like about having General Tire on your truck? You know what the biggest thing uh, that I love about General Tire is that I can rely on them. Uh, numerous times, my life has been in the hands of these tires. And sorry, I'm laughing. It's not funny, but it's just that when it really comes down to on a vehicle, if your rubber's not working, nothing else is working. And uh, from chasing the wildest storms on the planet uh, to the backcountry work we do in the Canadian Rockies and snow, that's two, three, four feet deep. These tires have saved my life over and over and over again. And that's what really matters to me is I know no matter what the weather, no matter what the condition, these tires are going to get me to safety. And that's what really matters to me. And you know what? Beyond that, I do have to say I love that they look cool. I love <laughs> how they look. I love the red lettering. I love the brand of General Tire. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, these, these are my tires and this is what I run. Stylish, reliable, safety, all very important. Now, Ricky, the new product in the all-weather lineup for General Tire is called the Altimax 365AW. It's an all-weather tire for cars and compact SUVs. And people are already talking about how this technology is made for Canada. I know you're based in Saskatchewan, what kind of weather do you drive through out there? Yeah, you know what? Uh, I love the idea of these tires. Uh, here in Canada, especially here in Saskatchewan, you never know what you're going to get for weather from day to day, summer or winter. So it's so nice to have a tire that can show up, that can perform no matter what the conditions. That's what really matters, whether you're taking the kids to school, grabbing groceries, or going on a road trip. You need to know that these tires uh, will be there for you, and that's what these are. Ricky, it's been awesome chatting with you, learning more about your daily adventures. I have to say, it makes my day job seem pretty safe by comparison. I have to ask, how long do you see yourself doing this? When do you think it could be time to hang up the tornado equipment? Lindsay, it feels like, uh, it feels like my mom is getting you to ask that question. <laughs> She's in my ear. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Uh, it'll never, I've been asked this before, it'll never get old. I, to my core... I love storm chasing and it's absolutely, again, the most beautiful thing and I've ever done. And I'll continue to do this uh, until I can't anymore. Amazing. Well, I have to say your stories are phenomenal. They gave me goosebumps a few times, but you clearly have nerves of steel. Stay safe out there, Ricky. It was such a pleasure talking to you and have you part of General Tires Outperform. Thanks so much. Thanks, Lindsay. Dependability you can trust. General Tire's all-new Ultimax 365AW features a strong limited tread wear warranty for your customers, including 95,000 kilometers for V-rated sizes and 105,000 kilometers for H-rated sizes. Pair that with the Ultimax 365AW's Three Peak Mountain Snowflake certification and you have the tire of choice for Canadians. Best of all, when your customers order a set from April 1st to May 31st, 2021, they qualify for a $60 General Tire mail-in rebate. The Ultimax 365AW. All-weather traction and convenience 365 days a year. We're about to wrap up this great edition of Outperform. What did we discover? Well, we learned about the all-new made-for-Canada Ultimax 365AW and how it brings all-weather performance and versatility to your customers not to mention the incredible convenience. We also saw how to drift like a champion, but please do not try this at home. Tommy is the ultimate professional. 
We learned how to chase tornadoes, something I definitely will not be doing anytime soon. But of course, we've only given away two of our three sets of Ultimax 365 AWs, which means it's time for our third winner. Congratulations, and that's a wrap. Thank you everyone from coast to coast for being part of this awesome event. I'm Lindsay Hamilton, and you're ready to outperform with General Tire.